Welcome back. What's good? What's up? It's your girl, Brittany. We are in my bathroom. I do not like this angle. But if you read the title, you're retwisting my hair with me and we're going to be talking about what, I don't know, I keep getting the thought to talk to you all about animes I've watched or watching and like mangas I've read and stuff like that. Might end up talking about some content creation stuff um, as well. You might get changed from this angle where you're sitting on my bathroom counter, this big tripod that I have. Anyway, I just got out of the shower. I just washed my hair and I'm gonna retwist my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna be starting and I don't have any gel this time. I know I had talked previously about having a lot of gel. I ran out and I didn't feel like any more. So for my retwist, I'll be using this jojoba oil and I have castor oil here too. I'll just be putting this on my hair and interlocking, crocheting if needed. Along with my argon hope oil and castor oil, I have my crochet needle hair ties to keep my hair out the way. Some clips. And my tool for interlocking. So let's get started. So there's a section off the back. Boy, the day when I can put all this up in a ponytail. You like Shikamaru? I'm gonna be happy. So happy. Also need my mirror. A bit of oil in the back. It's my first time doing a retwist with just water and oil, but hey, I believe I will manage. Gather that. Interlocking tool. I don't think I showed. I don't think I showed myself using the interlocking thing last time. It's pretty simple. I'll show you guys when I get to the front of my head. All right, I'm not halfway through, but I have this that much done. And I'm starting on a new row. So, like I mentioned earlier, I was talking about like animes and mangas and my favorites, what I've been watching, reading, all that, etc. So I just want to start by saying that um, I didn't like grow up watching anime like a lot of people did. I didn't start watching anime until like, I think it was like around 2017. I don't think I started watching anime until like around 2017 and I think, and my brother introduced me by the way, I think I got him in my, one of my last videos. Um, yeah, he introduced me to anime in 2017. We watched Dragon Ball, we watched. Dragon Ball, Goku as a kid, we watched Dragon Ball Z, um, GT, and eventually end up watching Super. And that was all 2017. Um, I pretty much, I think we just watched um, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. And after we finished that, we were like, yes, we watch anime. Like, you know, can't nobody tell me nothing. I watch anime. And then. Like Goku to do, like ain't nobody better than Goku, ain't nobody trying to come for Goku, like literally everything. And then he came with us again for a new anime. We were like, nah, bro, ain't nobody, ain't nobody mess with Goku, ain't nobody gonna take Goku's place. And it was Naruto. So, um, long story short, we were instantly, you know, invested in Naruto and what he had to offer to. So now we were like, yeah, Goku. And Naruto and the team, Sasuke, Sakura, Kakashi, all of them. You don't, I will name some names. If it's an anime, like I mess with like that, I won't, I will know everybody's name, bro. But yeah, after that, I don't remember what we started first. I feel like it was maybe, I feel like it was maybe Attack on Titan or My Hero or something like that, which I never finished My Hero. I don't, I think I'm too far gone to go back and try to finish My Hero or Attack on Titan, so. But, uh, watch those. I think we watched Death Note, Tokyo Ghoul, which that fell off pretty quickly. I'm trying to think of some stuff we watched together before going off on the things I watched in the recent years. I was trying to think of more stuff I watched recently, um, like by myself in the last couple months specifically because I feel like I've watched a ton of anime 
I feel like I watched a ton of anime in a short amount of time, which is kind of crazy, but um, I definitely love myself some anime, so I'm trying to think. Honestly, cannot remember back that far what we were like watching. Um, and I can barely remember what I started by myself, so I'll just start with what I've been recently looking at. So right now I'm looking at Classroom of the Elites. I always figure the main character's num uh, name, but I love him so much because he like, I'm here, what about it? Like what you need to talk to me for? Like why I need to go there? But he's still gonna figure it out. Like I'm only like maybe episode, mm, maybe like about eight episodes in now. Um, at the time of this recording, which is Sunday, September 17th, but yeah, I can never remember his name, but he's fire. I like him. So before this one, I was watching Fruits Basket. Like, need I say more? If you haven't watched Fruits Basket, please go ahead, log into your Crunchyroll, your Hulu. I think it's on Hulu. Like, just go watch it for me. I watched the 2019 one or... 2018 the most recent one I didn't watch the 2000 or the 2001 um because actually looking back at it and in the manga I, I kind of wanted to read the manga after I finished finished the show but um I watched the most recent one they look crazy on the 2001 after you watch the after you watch the first one I mean after you watch their most recent one looking at the older one they look crazy <laughs> but I love them so much like they literally had me they had me invested episode one. Cause I was like, I'm not gonna spoil too much, but I was like, girl, like she over here doing, literally trying to do her best on her own, you know? And then she meets, she meets the boys. Let me just stop talking. Cause I would tell the whole plot. All the characters, what I thought, who I liked, who I didn't like. I liked everybody except for one person during like season one, season two, and then season three, another person showed their true colors and they could go too. So I'm not going to say who. If you've watched it and you know who I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. <laughs> But I'm not gonna say who. Cause then that'll, that'll just open a whole another can of worms that I don't need to go down today. That's that. I'm not gonna talk too much on Fruits Basket. Cause I. Fruits Basket was the last one I watched. And it literally took me like two weeks to want to watch anything else. And now I'm starting Classroom Lately. But that literally messed me up emotionally and mentally. Um, you know how all those shows are, they get you in. They treat you real real well with the content, the wholesomeness, all the characters, literally, and then they just take it away. <laughs> and I'd be so heartbroken. Um what did I watch before that? I don't remember what I watched before that. Hold up, I think I have these written down. Hold on a second. So to save myself some time and energy and breath because it's currently 719 Sunday night. I had all day, but why am I just now doing my hair? Make it make sense, babes. But anyways, I'm just gonna name out other animes I watched and what I thought about them. And I have my little handy dandy list I made on Notion, trying to remember what fire animes I looked at. So if anybody ever wanted any recommendations, I would have them. I'm going to make a list in Notion so I could kind of keep track of what I watched and what I want to watch. And I still can't remember all the stuff I watched because I, I feel like I've watched not too much. You can never watch too much anime, but I feel like I watched a ton. I feel like I watched a ton. And, um... I can just barely remember what I watched. So I'm just gonna go through the list I have on Notion, which is not nearly as much as I watched, but hopefully it'll trigger some stuff what I did watch. So yeah, I think before then I watched season three, 
before Fruits Basket, I watched season three of Demon Slayer, which was fire. Demon Slayer has been really good. Um, the animation is superb, fantastic. I love it so much. Um, when I watched Demon Slayer, um, I named it DR3 because I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll put it on the screen. Um, I watched that until it got... I don't know. I was literally like maybe six episodes away from finishing, but I couldn't do it. That was a good one. I like Gangsta. My friend um, told me about Gangsta. And I was like, mm, I don't know. I like the name of that show. I don't know if I'm going to like it like that. Why go off and I want it more? Oh, and by the way, if I haven't already mentioned, these are ones that I recommend. If I watched it and got through it, I would recommend it. So, Gangsta. Demon Slayer. Fruits Basket. Classroom of the Elite. I'm not finished with it. I feel like I'm gonna finish it and like it. Classroom of the Elite. I've also watched Welcome to Demon School. Irumakum. I miss them so much. Iruma. As as Clara. I miss Caligo. Opera. Oh my gosh. Sullivan. I literally miss everybody. That's definitely like worth the rewatch. But I, I'm just waiting for season four. Um, what else? What else? I watched Scissor 7. It's on Netflix. I hope it's still on Netflix. That was a good one. Um, I don't remember what order I watched. It was during the time I watched Welcome to Demon School. Room. But, um, like the animation. I was kind of iffy on, but they really came through with, like, the content and the humor. That show was so funny. The show was very funny. I loved it. Didn't want that to go off. And the way that it went off, they better get another season. I'm going to try my best not to spoil any of these shows because, baby, I can talk about some anime. I think that's mainly why I decided to go ahead and just talk about anime on this video while I'm doing my hair because... There's nothing I really have to focus on, I don't think. And I've been talking about content a lot on my channel. So, you know, just a little breaky break on that. Um, like, so you guys can see some of my interests and where my head's at on certain things. And one thing I can talk about, babies, is some anime. So, let's get back to my list. I said Scissor 7. I watched The Legend of Vox Machina. A friend recommended it. I liked it, but I think I think it was too medieval for me. But I watched it. I like I forgot his name. The little one. Scanlan. I don't sound right. And then the voice of Ellie was in there as Pipe. I think that was her name. I have Blue Lock. I watched Blue Lock. That was pretty good. Soccer anime. Um I think the I had watched another soccer anime a few years back. I cannot tell you the name of it, but I do remember liking the main character. But, but Blue Lock was pretty good. Um, I think I found it very interesting that I didn't really like the main character like that. I can't even remember his name. Like, uh, Puchida? Megumi? I don't know, he was my favorite. I loved him so much. Let's see. Way back when, I watched Black Butler both seasons, and I'm kind of excited that they're coming out with a third. I don't know if it's going to be a third season or just like a reboot or what, but I'm going to be there when it come out. I think it said, I don't know if there's a date, but I think it said 2024. I'm going to be there, babes. I miss Sebastian. I didn't like CL, though, but um, Sebastian and Grell were my favorite characters. Another one that I watched and really enjoyed was Spy Family, Lloyd, aka Twilight, Yor, and Anya. Oh my gosh, Anya was so funny. I could literally talk all day about Anya, but it's been a little bit since I've seen the show and I can't really remember a lot of stuff. But I remember she was funny, Yor was funny. They all were funny as heck, bro. But it was also funny that they were all like not telling each other stuff. But they all pretty much thinking the same thing, so that was funny to me. Um, yours brother, 
forgot his name. Yuri. He was funny too, especially that night. He came over. <laughs> Just thinking about it, got me about to crack up. But um, yeah, that was another good one. Another one I have on my list is Yuri on Ice. It's been a minute. Okay, it's been a minute since I seen Yuri on Ice, and I never thought in any point in time would I be watching a figure skating anime but that was pretty good my arms hurt Victor and Yuri and Yurio that was really good and I think I was talking about a sports anime and I just kind of got thrown off Blue Lock I watched another soccer one. I can't remember the name. I was going to say the next sports one I had to watch was Haiku, which was volleyball. And let me tell you, them boys had me wanting to play volleyball. No cap. Like, they really wanted to have me playing volleyball. Out here striking and all that, that going to volleyball. It's been a minute since I've seen that too, but they had me wanting to play volleyball. Hinata and Kageyama, my boy Asai. Uh, Suki and them, like, boy, the coach, Yukai, like, everybody, they just had me wanting to play volleyball. I'm not even playing hot in this bathroom. But we're about halfway. Making progress. Um, I also watched Jujutsu Kaisen. I haven't watched the recent stuff, if anything else has come out on it, but, um, I watched season one. It was pretty good. Enough for me to watch season two, which I think is already out, but um, I've been watching it dubbed. It's only because, like, if I watch it in sub, then I'll be watching it in sub. But if I start an anime in dub, you gotta stay in dub. Because I get used to everybody's voice and stuff, and then it just switches when it's in the sub or vice versa, so. That's that. I also watched Code Geass. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that was a pretty good one. My boy Lelouch. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good, except for the second season. It was almost like none of the first season had happened or something. And no, but it was good. Um, I also watched Given. If you know, you know, but that was a really cute one. Tokyo Avengers, Hunter x Hunter, um, I watched Erased like two or three times because that was pretty good if you haven't seen it, definitely, it's more like a psychological kind of like crime, it's pretty good. I keep saying everything's pretty good, but they're so good. Like if I'm talking about them, they are worth looking at. Or at least trying to look at if you, you know, don't watch those genres of things. It's definitely worth a try. I also watched The Promise Neverland. I feel like if I do forget something, like as soon as I'm editing the video or something, I'm gonna think of a whole bunch of other stuff that I forgot to mention. <laughs> so, but that's all I got right now. Um, which I know I've seen more, but I just can't think. So, until any more anime pop into my head that I can think of, I'll move on to manga. Which is going to be fairly short. Um, I haven't read much manga. But. Uh, one that I can definitely recommend. If you are into like psychological. Like thriller type things. I would recommend. Homunculus. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'll, if I remember I'll leave it on the screen. But. Um, homunculus was pretty darn good because it's one that like make you think 
But then it was also one that went off and it was like, did any of that happen? So it that one took you through some things. Like I was reading that every chance I got. I think that was like the first manga that I like really kept up with, read all the way through all that. Um and if I find it, I will buy it just so I can have it and possibly read it again physically because that one's good. That was really good. For the sake of time, I'm just going to go ahead and wear the rest of my hair. I have to do it every row. You know what I mean? So who wanna do that? Not me. I'm trying to be over with this, okay? I'm just gonna get that in there. Okay, put it all back up. But yeah, um, that was a really good one. Like, I would love to know like people who've read it so I can go back and forth with them on like what they thought of the ending and how they were thinking about stuff as it was happening. Like that boy took you through some changes. Some other mangas I read were, they were like horror mangas. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but my boy Junji Ito, he be doing the thing, okay? Like, you don't need to come for him. If you like horror, suspense, like, otherworldly type, there is a couple anime. I don't think I watched the collection. See? Another anime popped up, but it was the Horror Story Collection or something like that. I can't remember the name, but that was pretty good. If you like horror, it's, like, different. Like, you know horror up, but then you, then you know anime. But this is like, I don't know, like things you probably wouldn't even think of to be horror. He made horror. And I watched the 10 story collection or something. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a horror story, 10 horror story collection or something like that. Um, and I think it's on Crunchyroll. But that was pretty good. It was different. And I read a lot of his mangas too. I read Uzumaki, Tomie, Fragments of Horror, Shiver. I'm gonna say it's over. Shiver. And um, I think I started another one on a manga app. Can't tell you what it's called though. So I haven't been back to it, but. Yeah, I definitely would recommend him too. Some good stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure if this counted as anime or not, but I'll say animation since that's what it is. Um, Avatar, Aang, Katara, Saka, and then not the blue people. I love the blue people too, the Navi, but this is Avatar. Aang. I watched that recently for the first time, ate it up, I loved it. Immediately followed it up with The Legend of Korra, ate it up, I loved it. Um, I just, I won't say if you haven't seen it, but I just wish that they didn't not show certain parts that the fans would have loved. I've been trying to watch Barto. <laughs> it's just so hard, but I love seeing um, all the OGs. What kind of lady is straight, ain't it? Golly. Please go behind my ear. Okay. But I think that is all I have right now in my memory 
bank for all the animes and mangas that I've read right now. I know there's more animes that I've seen, I just can't freaking think. So I'll keep doing my hair and I will see y'all at the top. So I can show you how I interlock and crochet if you care. So we almost finished. Can't wait. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all when I get to the top of my head. I'm finally on the last six locks of my hair. I'm tired. I've been in this bathroom for going on three hours now. But yeah, I'm on my last six. I was going to show you all on my last few. The interlocking since I kind of showed the crochet. It wasn't even the plan. I just, you know, people with locks may be watching my videos. And they might want to know how to interlock. And uh, use a crochet needle. So that's what I'm doing. But this is where I'm at. Can't wait to take the clips off to show you all. And so I can finally get out of this bathroom. But I'm going to show the interlocking on this. Hopefully you can see it. So it has this little thing where you can put the lock in. Depending on the size of your locks. I'm not sure if they have different sizes. But you will have to get one that will fit your lock. So it's pretty much like that. Moving closer. And you're just going to go through the top of the new growth part I'm gonna go through the top and bring it through and then there's different point systems I'm using a two point there's also a three and four point um, system when it comes to interlocking I'm just using three I mean two which you know I go in through the way I just did and then I cross over it in the middle like that and then I just repeat what I just did until the new growth is in the lock and I can't go through anymore. So this is going to be my last pass. And as you can see, the new growth is in there. It is tight. If you've never heard of interlocking, that's what it is. So I'm going to finish these last five now and take these clips out so you all can see the final product. Also, remember a few videos back, I hate to be in one video talking about A, that video when I talked about this, A, that video when I talked about this. Just honestly keep up with my videos. <laughs> but I had previously mentioned I had some like loose hair on the side from some locks that I tried to combine and they were coming back in the form of loose hair. Where they at? I'm telling you, if you have a whole lot of extra loose hair for your locks, or if you need to maybe repair a lock, get your crochet noodle. I'm not familiar with the sizes. Uh, like I said, I have a 0.5 and a 0.75. I know there's different um, different sizes they have for those. But uh, like I said, A. You want to get that extra frizz out loose hair rather because you're gonna have frizz no matter what but if you want to get like the loose hair tucked in a lock so you don't have to form a whole new lock or if you need like if a lock is getting thin or something and you want to um repair it which you can do with easily with a crochet needle <sighs> y'all don't know how tired i am bro and i still never change this angle this is loose hair this is the lock I want to put it in. I want to take the crochet needle. Pretty much you're going to just be doing this motion with the crochet needle. And then you're just going to be rotating your lock. And you're essentially putting this in with this. Be careful though because crochet needle can mess your fingers up. It's already been already been a few times where like if I had a went a little bit harder I would have stabbed myself <laughs> so that would be careful 
I like that the fact that since I started my locks I've learned so much and tried so many different techniques and you know trying to see what I like what I don't like when it comes to locks and I just love that I've been able to find stuff and pick it up it's most of the stuff I didn't know about when I first started my locks I'm literally pretty much like everything else learning as I go finding stuff that works um, getting rid of stuff that don't still still learning still vibing with it um so yeah as you can see that hair is in this lock except um see how it's a little loose at the top let's go ahead and do a little bit more but I honestly love that because I had a whole I have pretty much two lock worth of hair on each side of my head or well, one on this side one on this side I showed you guys and I was trying to crochet them together like either twist them or braid them and crochet together so I could start a new lock but honestly I'm a year and some change in why would I want two brand new baby locks that I gotta take care of so in comes the crochet needle fix all my lock problems This thing is amazing. But now I don't have that loose hair at the beginning of this lock. And then I can just interlock it like normal, which I'm gonna try to have to go to this side because I don't know. In to the side. Go in middle go in and I'm gonna keep it like that all right we're making our way downtown walking fast faces pass baby yes now I just got oh I don't like the frizz on this I know, um, like I used to palm roll and I used to really care about the frizz in my locks and, you know, trying to have it as neat as possible for a retwist, but babes, listen, the more you have your locks, the more you learn your things about yourself when it comes to your locks and learning your locks in general, you're not going to really care about the frizz, um, I didn't start my locks for a trend. I know a lot of people did, and I'm not blaming them. Um, locks are something, I mean, your hair is hair, and you can have locks, and just because you have them don't mean that, you know, you're stuck with them for life. Um, but I'm not gonna be up here combing out the ends of my locks so I can curl them or whatever who got time to do that every day like I don't so I definitely didn't start them for a trend or anything I don't know which way I just went in but yeah I didn't start them for a trend I am not going to be out here cutting well, not cutting um, combing out the ends of my locks for curls. I'm not gonna just be out here combing my locks. I plan to just have these forever. Um, I like that. It's something that grows with you. Like, I'm sure we all have our hair, our, you know, even when I was a loose natural, we all have our certain styles that, you know, grow on us and techniques and stuff. But it's something about locks. That makes it more than a hairstyle. Um, yeah, you have a, you know, permanent protective style. You don't feel like you're doing your hair. You can just throw, you know, a bandana on or, you know, spray your hair and go. You don't necessarily have to de uh, decorate. You don't necessarily have to um, dedicate a lot of time to taking care of your hair. 
like I said, I just spray mine with water, maybe some rose water if I'm feeling a little fancy. Put some oil in that mug about two times a week, and I'm chilling. So, definitely didn't do it for no type of trend or anything like that, but, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. But I love my hair, and I'm not too pressed on the frizziness. I think it gives it more, um... I don't know if it's volume or fullness. I think that's volume, but it gives it a little something. Like before I washed my hair, I was messing with it. I, was, mm -mm. I like it like this. Like why I have to finally like it in a a separate style or something, and I'm gonna wash it. Mm. And as far as washing my hair, I haven't got to the point where I found a conditioner that I want to use. But, I use Dr. Brownish Peppermint to wash. And I wash about twice. Depends on what I've had in my hair. Since I've washed it last, like if I've been doing edges, like that's going to take another because I'm trying to get all that out. If not, um, if not, it takes about just two washes for me to feel clean with my hair. And no product build up or anything like that. Another one, I'm going to do put a little bit of oil, it's a bit dry. I'm just flinging oil around my bathroom, I'm going to have to clean up, so it's more standing. Like, I really feel like I started at 6, 6, it was like right before 6.30 or 6.30 in that time frame, and it is 9.25. Definitely gave some time to the bathroom today. And I'm ready to get in my bed and watch Classroom of the Elite. Maybe play some PUBG. See, I've never really had no phone um, games on my phone. But back in 2019, before COVID hit, my friend, I was like, I don't have any games on my phone. Like, what do you play on your phone? And my friend gave me the suggestion of getting PUBG. And I was like, okay, I'll download it. Why well, I never play it. Never deleted it, but I never played it. And maybe about a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I was like, let me try this again. Let's see what this is about. And I have not put it down. If I got some free time, or I'm not editing content, or like, you know, I'm just chilling in the bed and then at night, I'm going to play PUBG. <laughs> like, I'm at my sex. And I never thought that I'd be playing, like, a shoot 'em up type game on my phone, but here we are. I just still find it funny that that game was on my phone, like, five years before I decided to play I'm done. Mm, mm, mm. Except, yes. Let's first start by taking these clips out. Ooh, baby, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And what's interlocking? I really don't need these clips. Helps get my hair out of the way. What I've already done and what I need to do. I can't really tell. I feel like it's gotten a little longer, but baby, yes, sir. Do you want to take my oil that I mentioned I was using in the beginning? There's definitely a little growth. So straight and out of place. So 
to read to us a doom, but hey. We are finished. All right, so I'm gonna clean up this bathroom. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching, chilling with me. We talked about some animes and mangas and I hope if you're in the anime and manga that you take my recommendation seriously and go watch and read because I'm not watching no trash, okay? And I'm not reading no trash. And I think that's mainly because, well, mainly why I haven't had any other mangas that I'm reading. But we talked about anime. We talked about manga. Y'all chilling me while I did my hair. We finished. I'm finna clean up and go into bed. So if you got all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment down below your thoughts on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm posting. And with that being said, I'm out. I will see y'all next week. Peace.